Hi, I'm Clara from Online Fabric Store. A fabric garland is great for many different holidays and special events. You can choose the colors and shapes to fit the occasion. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are a variety of fabric, twine or thread and a needle, a fabric marker, and scissors. First, make a template of the shape you want to use or find an object that's the right size. Circles look good no matter the occasion. Trace the shape on the back of your fabric and cut it out. Now do that again a whole bunch of times. I'm using several different remnants of decor fabrics. You can use many different types of fabric, but heavier fabrics hold their shape better. Some other heavier fabrics include canvas and felt. Felt is also good because it doesn't fray. Lightweight apparel and quilting fabrics will work too, but just won't be as stiff. You can vary the size of the circle or do different shapes like hearts or diamonds. To string the shapes together, you can either hand sew or use a sewing machine. I'm using baker's twine to hand sew these circles together. Since the fabrics I'm using are one-sided, I'm putting two back to back. Use a running stitch to go down the middle of the circle. Bring the needle in and out of the fabric several times and move on to the next one. Make the garland however long you want. I'm going to use a sewing machine to string together this heart garland. Use a straight stitch set to a long length. Sew down the center of the fabric. When you get to the end, continue to sew without the fabric for a couple more stitches while pulling slightly. Then lift the foot, position the next piece, and continue to sew. Repeat this until the garland is the length you want. You can hang the garland in a swag or hang multiple strings vertically. For everything from Christmas to Valentine's Day, birthday parties to baby showers, Garland makes for fun and colorful decorations. Thanks for watching this OFS project.